Okay, this is a video on how I created a rock bank using dirt technology where I carve into the bank and then I mud using the dirt that I carved out. This is one side of the U-shaped driveway. This is the other side. And we're coming up to where you come into the corner where you can see the face here now. And it's a water feature only on the face near the house. But this is a video about this, so stick with me. And there's a nice view here. Especially that rock wall over there. See, that needs landscaping, doesn't it? You know, a wall looks like crap until you landscape it. It really does. We didn't put no planters in that wall like we did the other one, but. Okay, the first thing we do is we start out by spray painting the boulder shapes we want to excavate. From there, we dig a trench all along the base of the rock wall to get the rock into the soil to where you never see an unfinished edge. It's not so much a foundation, it's just bringing the rock down into the ground so you never see the finished edge. From there, we start to dig out between each boulder to create the joints and pop in the bank to get some definition started. Well, this is the dirt that we took off of the bank. And it's, uh, I don't know if you masons have ever done this little, oop, it didn't stick. It doesn't, but it's, uh, it's a very good mix. You can see that that sticks real good. It's, it's got a lot of clay in it, but anyway. I want to address the digging portion of this project and any project that you're going to do. If you'll notice the drawing in front of you there, there's a wall, vertical wall, but it's leaned back out of plumb by about 15 degrees. If you dig a bank like that, it doesn't need any steel or reinforcement or foundation because it's really a, just a veneer. It's like the stack of block walls. They, they tilt back a little. The other important aspect to the dig out is that the bottom goes in the soil below the grade a good five inches same with the top from there you see that i draw the boulders uh this is a first drawing of just excavating the bank out you know you're digging in to get some de definition started from there i'm laying mud dirt mud that i got off of the wall and i throw it in the mixer with the water and if it's sandy i'll throw one scoop of portland but i'm still using a no cost material to build out the definition in this job right here i was astounded as i watched it go through we had dug the bank you see me just now putting some mud on the bank but yet as i go forward in the footage i did not continue adding more dirt mud to build out the definition almost to the point where it is beautiful i mean this stunning not like what you're seeing in the video that i just shot um, I built out a lot of dirt, mud, rock in my day, and I built it out to where it looks pristine. And then my only task, using a three sand, one cement, masonry cement uh, mixture, I would cover with one inch and a half layer, let that dry, cover it again. So I had a three inch lay. Now there's mud formulations or processes we can use and we can thin that down, but that's what you're seeing in this. And it worked on hundreds of jobs that I did. And Again, saving money by using the dirt as a mortar to build it out. And you just, it's just like trash bags or, you know, cardboard rock that I do. It's not the form underneath it. It's the shell overlaying it. And when you put that dirt mud on the bank and it dries, it's still there. It's still a foundation. It works. And that's what I wanted to emphasize in this.
portion of the video. Good bee, good bee. 